Hello everyone. I am here to discuss to you the topic about force for physical science. This is your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. Before we directly proceed with the topic about force, let us first discuss the concept of motion. What do we mean by motion? When we say motion, the object is moving and not at rest. That means motion is the movement of an object or not at rest. Every moment, there is a change in position. If the, uh, the, the object is moving or at motion, there will be a change in position, whether from one point to another or in terms of the way you see things changes your view. There is speed or velocity, not necessarily about linear motion, but rather we are talking about how fast or slow the object is moving. There, there is a change in angular view. So every time that the object is moving, you have changes in angular view or the way you see the object is moving. And lastly, there can be acceleration or deceleration. So when we say the object is moving and then there can be acceleration, when we say acceleration, the speed or uh, the motion is getting faster while for deceleration, the movement is getting slower or the motion is slowing down. But what causes the motion? Motion is caused by what we call force. So let us now discuss the concept of force. Force is any push or pull. That is the simplest definition of the term force. Force can set a stationary object into motion, meaning if the object is at rest, if we apply force to the object, it can cause motion or movement to the object. Force can make a moving object to stop. Aside from making the stationary object into motion, it can also make the moving object to stop. Like for example, if a ball is rolling towards you, you may use your foot to stop the ball from rolling or from movement. So that means you apply force to stop the movement of the object. Force can also change the direction of motion. Let's say for instance, like in soccer or football, if player A passes the ball to player B, player B will kick the ball and pass it to another player, player C, and the direction of the motion of the ball changes. That is why we can say that force can change the direction of motion. Force is capable of changing the state of motion of an object, meaning it can make the object at rest into motion or object from motion or moving object it to stop or it could also be by force, you can increase the speed or accelerate the motion of the object or using force, you can decelerate or slow down the motion of the object. Force is also a vector quantity that means it has magnitude and a direction. Force can be present even there is no motion. Sometimes we call the situation as forces are at equilibrium. And another example would be, let's say you are trying to move a vehicle by pushing it, but then there is no motion of the car or the vehicle. Even though you are exerting force, still there is no motion to the object. Multiple forces can be done in one object or one body. Let's say you have this object and then you apply forces from different parts of the object. So in this case, you are exerting four forces from four different parts of the object. It shows that the four forces are pushing the object and you can also exert force by pulling the object from different parts of the body or of the object and it is also said that force forces 
may be involved in one particular body. Not just one, but multiple forces are possible. When several forces act on an object, the combined effect is called the net force. Net force is simply the sum of all forces acting on a body. Let's say we have an object and two forces are applied. Let's call them F1 and F2 or force 1 and force 2. Force 1 is pulling the object towards the left direction while F2 is pulling the object towards the right direction. If F1 is equal to F2, there is what we call zero net force or balance forces. It's because the sum of the two forces will be equal to zero. For example, if force 1 is equal to 50 newtons to the left and force 2 is also 50 newtons to the right, since F1 is towards the left direction, therefore it will be negative. So if we add the two forces, negative 50 newtons plus positive 50 newtons, the sum will be equal to zero. The net force is equal to zero or zero net force. Another situation here, we have an object that is pulled by two forces from different and opposite directions. F1 is exerting a force greater than F2. If F1 is greater than F2, then we will have a non-zero net force or unbalanced forces, meaning there will be a value to our net force. Let's say F1 is 50 newtons to the left and F2 is 20 newtons to the right. If we're going to add the two forces, we will get a value of negative 30 newtons, meaning this amount of force or this net force is towards the left direction. Always remember that the direction of the motion of the object is always towards the direction of the greater force. So in this case, the direction of F1, which is greater than F2, is to the left. And so the object will start moving towards the direction of F1 with the higher force. Let us now talk about the different types of forces. We have two major types of forces. The first one is the contact forces. Contact forces are forces that are that arise because of physical contact between two objects, meaning there is a physical contact between two or more objects. For the second one would be action at a distance forces or also known as non-contact forces. These are forces between bodies or objects that are not in contact or act through empty space. The different types of contact forces are normal force, friction or friction force, and tension or tension force. The discussion for each type of the contact forces will be discussed in a separate video lesson. For action at a distance forces or non-contact forces, they are weight, electrostatic force, and magnetic force. And again, the discussion of these different types of non-contact forces will be in a separate video lesson. Thank you very much for watching and listening to this video, and I hope you learned something new about force. The following uh, discussion about contact and non-contact forces will be discussed in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and God bless.